What are these people afraid of? What are they worried about? I know. So do you. It's the same thing we all fear and wait for. The unexpected. Split second. Careful. It's a long way down to that river. Careful. What does a man think during that split second when he's falling through space? Is it true that memory comes back with a rush and a lifetime passes before your eyes? I'd jump in the river if I was you, Maley. Honest, that's what I do. I jump right smack in the old East River. I can't swim. Jump in anyway. Give the fish a treat. Uh, you're mad about me, baby. You know that. It's the modesty pills you've been taking, Maley. That's what makes you so attractive. Quit doing that. You'll mess up my dressing room. Okay, George. If you don't care whether I look neat or not. I don't care whether you're alive or not. I'm sick to the gills of you, Maley. I'm sick of you hanging around. I'm sick of your face. You're a blind on the landscape. How am I ever going to get out of this stinking nightclub with you mooning around me all the time? Scare off all the stage door Johnnies who got any dough to spend. They think I'm took. I don't want to spend my whole life dancing in this upholstered sewer. Well, I'm going to take you out of this dive pretty soon. There's big things ahead for Maley. Ha! Huh. You was born a messenger boy. It's me and you, Georgia. Let go of me. I gotta go on. There's a cockroach in the closet. Keep him company. She sure is mad about you, Bailey. Yeah, she thinks you're a doll. Wake up, Bailey. Hit the deck. What happened? You set the alarm for the wrong time? Step on it, kid. On the ball. You'll be late to work. Where do you work, Bailey? What do you do for a living, anyway? What's the secret of your success? Hmm. Are you a big money man, Bailey? Executive type? Important decisions all day long? It's about time, Bailey. Everybody's been screaming. Mr. Crane wants to see you. Don't worry about me, baby. I'll take care of Mr. Crane. I bet. Come in. Where in the sweet land of Goshen have you been, Maley? Well, I was stopped by... This business is built on punctuality, dependability. That's why people trust us. I know, Mr. Remember Ray. it. I have some collections here I want you to take to the uptown branch. It's cash. $43,000. Ask the cashier to give you a receipt. Yes. And, Maley, do you think you can find the uptown branch? You won't get lost along the way. Don't worry, Mr. Crane. Dependability. It's the backbone of this business. Dependability. Yes. Yes, sir. You're a big money man, Bailey. With somebody else's money. Yes, sir. Dependability. All transactions travel by bonded messenger. What does it mean, bonded messenger? Does that mean if you lose the money, somebody else pays for it? $43,000. Man, you can work a whole lifetime, Bailey, and not pile up that much. Excuse me, please. Hey, is this the Uptown Express? No, ma'am, this is the Downtown Express. Oh, dear me. Just a minute, Bailey. Your boss said to take that money to the Uptown branch. Why are you going downtown? <laughs> May I help you, sir? I want to inquire about renting a safe deposit box. We have a few available. They may be rented on a monthly or yearly basis. Well, I'll need it for about 10 years, maybe longer. I'll pay in advance. We can send you a statement, quarterly or annually. Well, that won't be practical. I'm going away on a long trip. Uh, what's the price tag? Well, for the regular size box, it's $8 a year. I'll take it. Here's your key. Whenever I want to get into the box, all I have to do is present this key, right? And sign your name. We'll compare it with the signature. That and the key makes a positive identification. 
You keep the card in the file. That's right. Now, if you'll print your name on the first line and sign down here. And no one can touch the box without writing their signature. Not even the president of the bank. What's that name? Shackleton. Jonathan R. Shackleton. That's, uh, Shackleton? S-H-A-C-K-L-E-T-O-N. Jonathan R. Oh, you come with me? Wait a minute. Your boss called you Maley. M-A-L-E-Y. How come? Let me know when you're through. Thank you. Bailey? Think Mr. Crane won't miss that $43,000? Crane speaking. What? It should have been there hours ago. $43,000. I... I sent it up with one of our boys. That stupid Maley, something must have happened to him. I'll check his apartment. You better call the police. You're taking a big chance, Bailey. Going back to your apartment house. Going to pick up your messages? Better watch out, or your messages will pick up you. Clever fellow, Maley. Right over the furnace pipes. That's a nice safe place for a safe deposit box key. A hot safe deposit box key. Oh, gonna deliver those bricks to the uptown branch? Swell. Dependability. That's the old dependability. Get out of my dressing room. Can't you be nice to me, baby? Can't you understand? I don't want you mooching around, you two-bit messenger boy. That's all over. No more quarters and dimes for me. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Now listen, George. It's my last night. I want to make it a big night. I want to do the town. And I want to do it with you. What if I got other plans? I just made your plans. Now get dressed real pretty, baby. You ain't gonna forget this night if you live to be a hundred. Ticket, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow you may... Who knows what will happen tomorrow, Maylee? Here, buy your wife a mink coat. Why don't you buy me a mink coat, Maylee? Maybe I will someday. Hey, look, the sun's coming up. It does every day. Where to? Queensboro Bridge, upper level. Queensboro Bridge? What are we going there for, Maylee? Haven't I been taking care of you, baby? Oh, gee, you've been taking care of me swell, Maley. 
Where'd you get all the money? The horses? Uh, Somebody died? You'll read about it in the papers. Don't believe everything you read, though. Only believe what you can see. Yeah. What's that for? Mad money, so she won't have to walk home. Ain't you taking me home? You never can tell what might happen. Which end of the bridge do you want? Neither. Leave us off right in the middle. In the... You know, sunrise is kind of pretty. Like a calendar with no advertising. I like bridges. When you're on a bridge, you're no place. You just ain't any place. You're between places. I'm getting cold, Maley. When I was a kid, I lived on the wrong end of the bridge. Out where they make islands out of garbage. You couldn't get rid of the smell of rotten orange peels in your living room. Two cities, baby, and a bridge in between. I used to stand there when I was a kid and look out across the river at Beekman Place and the Waldorf Towers. I used to dream that I could cross the bridge. A dime! It costs a dime. You get on a streetcar, you ride across. It costs more than a dime to get away from that smell. That sounds dumb enough to be real smart. Only since it's you, I know it's just dumb. You're crazy, Billy. Nutty as a candy bar. Sure, I'm crazy, baby. Crazy about you. Hey. Hello, officer. You folks are up kind of early. Or out kind of late. It all depends on how you look at it. Well, in any other case, take it easy. So long. So long. Oh, officer. Yeah? I thought you might be looking for me. My name's Maley. Let's get back to split second. I admit I'm guilty. I stole the money. And where is it now? I sure wish I knew. Like I said, the money was in a company briefcase. Instead of taking it to the uptown branch, I decided to steal it. I got on the subway to go home. In the subway jam, somebody took my briefcase from me. When I got out of the crowd, all I had in my hand was an empty leather red bag. Somebody else must have substituted it for my briefcase. That's the way it happened. You know, this makes you look pretty stupid, Mr. Maley. Well, I know it does, sir, but you see, I, I'm not a criminal. I never stole anything before. And you have no idea where the money is now? That's the truth, Your Honor. And I swear to it by everything I hold sacred. And that gives us a pretty good idea, Maley, about how much you hold sacred. Five years. 365 days a year, plus an extra day for leap year. Hey. What? I just figured something out. Only 1,825 days to go. They all feel the same when they first get here. You'll get over it. guys you know make better than $700 a month for doing nothing. Oh, why don't you go to sleep? Hey, Maley. What? Didn't you say you used to live in a Valamont Apartments? What about it? Says here they're putting a new superhighway through your old living room. Where does it say that? Right here. They're tearing down the building. Well, don't get so excited. You don't live there anymore. I gotta write a letter. I gotta write to Georgia, she'll help me. How's everything at the club, Georgia? Okay. What you want me to come way up here for, Maley? You gotta do me a favor. You gotta get the key. What you talking about? What key? Sure does a guy a lot of good to see his girl. They're tearing down my apartment house. You know the one. The Balamount Arms. Now go there, please. In the furnace room down in the basement. You ain't changed, Maley. You're as nutty as ever. In the far corner where the beams meet, there's a key. Get it and hold it for me. I'll make it worth your while. You gotta do this for me. You gotta. What are you picking on me for? I don't have anybody else, Georgia. One day to go. 
24 hours. 24 hours. One more day to go, Bailey. Just one more day. Sure, it's been a long time. It hasn't been a breeze, but it's over. It's done. And think what's waiting for you when you get out. Ah, feels great, doesn't it? To get out of that air-conditioned penitentiary and smell the good old subway stench again. Looking for your girl, Maley? She's not in there. Bet you're looking for something a lot more valuable than a girl. With that key, you'll be a big man, Maley. Served your time. Cleared your conscience. You'll be rich, Maley. When you twist that key in the safe deposit box. And with $43,000, you can do a lot better than... Georgia. Were you wrecking for something? Georgia, baby. Lost your tan. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, quite a spell. Where's the key? What key, Maylee? What do you mean, what key? You know what key. Where is it? Where's the key? Oh, that old key. Is that all you want from me, Maylee? Just the key? Of course not, Georgia. I come to see you. You're the one I come to see. First thing they let me out. I was just wondering what you did with the key. Is, is it all right? What if it wasn't all right? What if I told you I lost it? You didn't lose a key. Key, 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 is that all you can think of? Let go of me. How do you think it makes me feel? What do you think it does to my ego? You don't care nothing about me. All you care about is the key. Oh, don't feel that way, honey. What's it a key to, Maley? A locker somewhere? A safe? Maybe you didn't lose all that money like it said in the papers. Maybe you got it hid away someplace. Forty-three thousand simoleons. <gasps> you guessed it, baby. Now you know why I gotta have that key. Ain't it gonna be kind of lonesome, Mary, spending all that dough by yourself? Ain't you got some girls you'd like to spend it on? You, Georgia. We'll spend it together. We'll get married. Married? Huh. Now, where's the key? I got it. And I'm gonna keep it. Don't you trust me. Five years I spent in jail to get that money. What do you think this is? Worse than jail. Nobody ever gets let out of here. Except in Georgia. <laughs> Give me my parole, governor. May I help you, sir? I'd like to claim the contents of my safe deposit box. Number 737. Certainly. Will you sign here? Then I'll compare it with the signature on your identification card. Bottom line. Yeah. There are people waiting, sir. Will you please step aside? What's the matter? What's wrong? Did something go wrong? I can't think of the name. What name? The name I rented the box on. You're trying to trick me. You're trying to get me out of the way so you can have it all to yourself. Well, it won't work. I swear I can't think of it. You're getting kind of nervous and excited. You better sit down for a minute. Get this thing straightened out. Yeah, I gotta get this thing straightened out. Now, let's start at the beginning. Was that the window? Same window, same clerk. You signed a name on a card. What name? I can't think of it. Did I tell you the name? No. Did you write it down someplace? Yeah, I was too smart for that. What letter did it start with? It, it began with F. 
Are you sure? No. It was S. Stanton. Skipperman. No, it was something like that. Well, what was the first name? Maybe you'll get it that way. It was a biblical name. Jeroboam. Was that it? Jeroboam what? No. Joshua. Jonah. Jonathan. That's it, Jonathan. Which was it? Jeroboam or Jonathan? Jonathan. Go ahead. Keep thinking. What if it doesn't come? What if I don't ever think of that name? The president of the bank can't even get to that money without signing that name. Look on the card and tell me the name on box 737. We're not allowed to do that. You see, it's for the protection of our customers. In the event a key is lost, someone might try to duplicate your signature. Honestly, I don't know what gets into some people. Well, was it a simple name, like Smith or Jones? No, no. Well, go down the alphabet. Did it begin with an A, a B, a You're C? You're just trying to confuse me. Hey, we gotta get out of here. People think we're crazy. They might call the police. We gotta go about this calm and systematical. I know what we'll do. We'll go to my dressing room at the club. It's quiet there. It'll come to you. Come on. Aaron. Aronson. Abercrombie. Aberly. Abington. Think of it. I've got to get that name. Keep going. Abbott. Abbott. No, no. Abco. No. Abel. Abelman. No, no. Abowitz. Acker. Ackerman. Stop it. Was it a name from history, like Admiral Byrd or King Solomon? What made you think of the name in the first place? If I knew I'd know the name! Well, don't yell at me! Shut up so I can think! Well, close thinking, can't even remember a name. What a guy! Do you know the name? I told you the name. You're keeping it from me. You want me to go buggy trying to think of it? You never told me! Tell me, tell me the name, the name! I'm trying to help you, Maylee! Maylee! You didn't tell me! You didn't! Just a name, Maylee. That's all, a name. Just a name. Think of a name, Maylee. You know the name. What's the name? The name, the name, what's the name? Maylee! Maylee! What's the name? The name. Maylee, wait for me! The name, what's the name? Is that the name? Could that be the name? Is that it? There's one. Could that be it? How about that one? There's a sign. Is that it? There's a name. Does that sound like it? Look, over there. Is that the name? Could that be the name? There's one. Could that be it? How about that one? Oh, my goodness. I gotta think of it. It's on that card in the bank. On that card. We must have the name. We must have the name. We must have the name. Of course, everybody knows his own name. What is it? What is it? No. No, no, no. I wrote it down on that card. O'Neill, O'Donnell, O'Shea, O'Rourke, Nelson, Nielsen, Newsom, Nottingham, nothing, nothing, nothing. Maylee! You crazy nut chasing all over town! I'm it, I'm thinking of it! No, you won't. You're really off your rocker, Maylee. There's no name, there's no money, nothing! Don't say that! I think you made the whole thing up in that cockeyed little brain of yours. Here, I'm real sorry for you, Maylee. Mad money, so you won't have to walk home. One thin dime. That 43,000 bucks has shrunk a little. Ten cents. After five years in jail. Two cents a year. Your price has come down a little. It's deep down there, Maylee. And you can't swim. A guy can do a lot of thinking in a split second. I got it! I got a Jonathan! I Jonathan!
next week, House of Shadows. so dark. I don't trust the daylight. Aren't you going to ask me into the parlor, Irene? After all, we're old friends now. I'm no lawyer, but it seems to me that the state has a pretty good case. If it is my word against this young woman's, kindly remember that I am the wife of Stephen Cunningham.